Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Listen in on what Tyrone had to say. If it was already agreed that was working for the network, because that could have happened prior to that, then if I wanted to, if, if you know, I could have showed up and not get in trouble. Okay. But Jazz, I'm not going to risk my life for anybody to go back to prison. Right. So, uh, you know, I could, I didn't stand her up. And right. more importantly, Jazz, you can't stand up somebody where they know where you are. Uh, I don't care if it's man, woman, you know, no matter what your persuasion is, straight or gay, yeah. if you're a significant other or or your uh, partner, uh, you know where they lay their heads. So in my case, you definitely knew where I was because I was on home confinement. So how, you know, and I can't speak for every ethnic group, but sisters, they're going to know that like, well, if he ain't coming, let me go pull up. Let me go to his house. Let me go to where he we is. Do, we I'm do pull up sometimes. We do. <laughs> yeah. But you at least know where I am. So, and I couldn't, even if you didn't know, I couldn't go anywhere. I had a curfew. And I was on home confinement. So I can't stand you up. You, okay. you know where I am. The problem was I didn't have an agreement to to participate in that activity. And uh, more importantly, I wasn't going to put myself at risk for going back to prison. Okay, so why didn't why did it appears that she was not aware of this because she I'm just telling you as a viewer I, I'm just right. telling you as a viewer right. we, we sit and we watch her she's it appears that she's calling you you're not picking up so did she not know that you were why did she why was she under the impression that you were going to come on the date she wasn't under the impression she knew that I couldn't come okay. we have we were communicating. I got a call in the wee hours of the morning about I'm coming to Philly, but not saying I'm coming to Philly to tape. Come to Philly to visit me and come to Philly to sit outside on the streets to tape. It's a whole different narrative. You come to Philly like you've done before, you're going to come over, you're going to pull up, you're going to come to where I am and go from there. Mm -hmm. uh, but not all of a sudden saying, oh, I'm coming to Philly and by the way, we're taping. Oh, that, that, that can't happen. Okay. You know, that would I would be in, I would been I would have been in so much trouble, Jazz, and it just wasn't worth it for okay. me. Uh, so. so, did she know? So the, <laughs> she listen, Jazz. Okay. She knew. Okay. It was clear. It was even. Uh, um, not only did she know, and I don't want to get into how because it's it's not their responsibility. Okay. Uh, but she knew, and she could have easily just said, "He can't come. I know he can't come. We can do this at another time." Uh, or we can do it someplace else, or I can go to his house, you know, and, and, and see the uncomfortable setting that he's in because he's on home confinement. Right. Uh, and then because where I was released to wasn't where I am now. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, fortunately I was released almost a year, a year and a half earlier than I was, because my time was, wasn't supposed to be up until September of this year, okay. September of 22. So okay. she knew where I was. It wasn't like I was out of the country or on the west coast and just right. stood her up and that's sad jazz because the narrative for, for males coming out of prison unfortunately is they come home and they do the female or someone that was riding with them all throughout the bid which was not the case it wasn't all throughout the bid and they just come home and do them wrong so that wasn't the case okay did you all talk afterwards uh after about, that about happened, what happened about what happened uh, there was, there was what you, I don't know. I don't know where they are on the show. I don't watch the show, but, uh, it probably may have the first time it was again addressed because we, we definitely spoke, uh, and it was communication, uh, via text. Okay. She knew I couldn't, but after that, because my position is, is this jazz, no matter how, and everybody has their own journey and they're going to do what they need to do for their own livelihood. I understand. She, you know, she's a reality star. She has to do certain things right. based on her job. But when you're, but when your moves and the things that you're doing is impacting my my freedom um, for anything for by any means necessary, that right there didn't settle well with me. So I I, I gracefully, you know, just stepped aside, bowed out. You know, okay. no 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 anger, no animosity. But when I see that you're going to expose me and not look out look out for my best interest. I just needed to step away. Okay. Continue to work on I'm already mind I'm already dealing with mental health issues. So why would I even entertain that? Because that becomes a very, very uh, it can it can it can push 
would trigger other things which I wouldn't allow to happen. You didn't show up because? Because one. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, everyone. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged. In his opinion, in my opinion, we're going to generally talk about, we speak about celebrity news, celebrity gossip. If something hits the IG or Google, we'll give a general recap and review. So we're going to recap and review what Tyrone is saying, because this is a big interview for Jazz. Jazz does great in regards to interviews. So I want to give out a shout out to Jazz because I really never heard Tyrone speak more than a few sentences for him to do this interview. It's big for Jazz. So congratulations to Jazz. One, don't date a dude that's in jail. Y'all know me. I can't. I can't. One, don't date a dude that's in jail. It's different than somebody doing 30 days because of a ticket or something. But somebody that's doing two years, three years, come on. Women, you need somebody to love, hug on you, go out on dates, sleep next to. And, you know, it, that's Sheree's world. That's Sheree's life. You know, you have women. These men get in there. They play mind games. They're speaking to so many different women. They're getting somebody to put money on their books. When they come home, they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. They're trying to adjust. And then you have that to deal with. So women, you have a lot to deal with when him being in jail. And then you have a lot to deal with when he comes home. Please find somebody that's loving, kind, respectful, hardworking, and that has their own house, their own car. This, I'm only playing it because it seemed like he let her down. She knew what it was. She knew he had to be where he had to be. And, oh, he not answering my phone call. And what does it mean if it just goes straight? Girl, she is older than most. She know what it is. So I'm glad he did the interview. And I'm glad he straightened it up. And I'm glad he putting Bravo out there in regards to it made him look bad. But why is a woman of her stature dating a man? that is in jail and has been in jail why date someone that continues allegedly wants to break the law okay ladies you know on my show we talk about healthy and safe relationships healthy and safe relationships someone find someone that's respectful kind to you your family and his family okay so relationship today tip today we're speaking about Tyrone Sheree I also did a video in regards to Melody spoke about Martel and Sheree allegedly dating. So, of course, you know, Tyrone wanted to clear his name and Melody wanted to clear her name. And then it's being said that some people are saying Martel is upset that Sheree spilled the beans. Well, y'all been hanging out. Of course, people are going to think you're dating. But maybe he he wants to have his storyline be something else. But Sheree's trying to save her peach. But if she's saying he's met some of my friends, it's being alleged that she met some of his friends. You know there. Well wishes. Bravo loves to take people lives and they make money off of it. So let's be very clear. When you're on a reality show, you sign a waiver. They're going to utilize your name, your likeness. They're going to do whatever they got to do to make money off of you. So what wishes to women that are dating men that are in jail or incarcerated? That's your choice to stay with that situation. It's not easy because they, they play mind games. A lot of them are narcissistic men trying to control where you go, what you do. When you know where they're at, huh, no, sir, no, ma'am, healthy and safe relationships. Don't play games with people. Don't be in a relationship where somebody's trying to control your every step, your every move. No. Ladies, teach your daughters different. Women that are grown, don't date men that's, just tell him, I'll see you when you get out. <laughs> and don't date married men. And then Melody's like, well, I couldn't control what he was doing when I was married to him. No, you could not because you knew what you married. So let's be very clear on that. She went back to Martel and she knew what he was up to. Martel and Melody wanted to spark their career. She went back to him to hopefully try and save her marriage and hopefully get the show going. They were the ones that 
went to Carlos King about the show. So, here nor there. Well wishes ty to Tyrone. You know, on my show, we speak about healthy and safe relationships. And it's nice that he finally spoke up. Jazz did a great job doing the interview. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Continue to support the channel by liking and commenting. And also, Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your support. Everyone, have a great day.